Hello, my name is Nehemia. I am from Nigeria. My ascension year was 2016. I was hosting in Avada, Colorado. Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm from Lebanon. I went on exchange in 2013 and I was placed in Lebanon with Washington. In this video, me and Sarah will be speaking simultaneously. Me in sign language, Sarah in English. We will share my express as deaf in US. What it means to me and the positive impact of it. We will also share advice on how to make all your projects inclusive, as well as some insight to work on specifically disability oriented projects. My experience of living in the U.S. as a deaf person who had full access to information and communication started within my host family's home. Some family members were also deaf, so we all communicated in sign language without any barriers. Outside the home, my eyes were also open to a wide array of accessibility and accommodation services, such as professional American Sign Language interpreters, communication access real-time translation, as well as ramps and bus lifts for wheelchair users. I can say that this changed my perspective of disability. I realized that the root causes of disability can be related to a lack of an accessible environment, a lack of inclusion, poor educational and health opportunities, and discriminatory practices. Those causes are reversible by removing barriers and discrimination for a full participation and the true inclusion of people with disabilities in the communities. My first time learning about the ADA was during the Mobility International USA workshop held in Eugene, Oregon for YES students with disabilities. This is when I realized that having a disability law can really shape the society's response to disability rights, accessibility, and inclusion. I was really inspired by that experience. The fact that my country, Nigeria, didn't have a disability law, coupled with a history of discrimination, encouraged me to pursue a career in law. ADA not only inspired me to become a lawyer, it also served as an inspiration to the Nigerian disability law that was enacted in 2019. That's one positive impact of ADA. It makes things possible. Another impact of ADA is that challenges related to disabilities are now viewed as related to civil rights rather than impeding health issues. When working on any project, it's important to make it an inclusive one for everyone to participate in. One general way to ensure that is through having several communication and presentation options available. For example, use visuals for those who can't hear as well as sound guidance for those who can't see. It is also important to choose a venue that has an elevator or ramps for people with wheelchairs. And mention that the project is inclusive and accessible to all so that people with disabilities can feel encouraged and welcome to join. If you want to deepen your special needs catering, it is important to know your audience in order to prepare the provisions ahead of time. Sending out attendance confirmation surveys is a good idea to knowing your audience. In the surveys, ask if anyone has any disability or needs any assistance to be able to attend and participate in the event. Based on their answers, you would know if you need more volunteers to help the participants get to the event, or if you will need interpreters for deaf people, for example. Any project, no matter how small, can be an inclusive one. We worked on a short documentary about Nehemia's experience in the US, and by simply adding subtitles to the video, it became inclusive and accessible to all. One advice we can give you about working on a project advocating for people with disabilities 
is to include people with disabilities in the planning, the organization, and the implementation of the projects. When you work on collaboration, you will understand their perspectives, you will get their most valuable feedback, and through their stories, you will, more people will be influenced, whether they were volunteers or participants. We wish you good luck in your future disability-oriented projects. Happy 30th anniversary, ADA. We love you.